Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I made these cute, quick, virtual office hours Google Slides templates. If you want to see how I did these, just keep watching. Alrighty, so let's dive in. So first off, I wanted to create a background that I could easily place um, like my um, card that had all my information on it that I wanted to get across. And so um, at this time, lots of people are working from home. So I just did a quick Google search of cute um, backgrounds for Zoom. And I'm across apartmenttherapy.com and they had these cute images that the website had created. And so you can see, I just simply went through and for the images that I really liked, I just hovered over, right clicked, save image as, and I just saved it to my desktop at, in a JPEG. And once I had done that, I decided to just open up a new blank Google slide. So in your drive, I just went to new Google slides. And you can see that I titled it virtual office hours template. And it's just going to be a new blank presentation. And I find that this card can be really helpful to have open when my students log into either um, a Zoom call or a Google Hangout. And this allows me to prompt my students. So um, maybe I'm not necessarily comfortable showing my face that day, or maybe I just want to have this open so my students can think about the questions that I'm prompting them with. And it also gives me an opportunity to show them my Bitmoji and just kind of have fun in it. At this time, we are doing office hours, so it's optional for my students to check in with me during this time. So by leaving this card up when my students pop in to chat with me, they have some prompts and they can either speak to me face to face, or if they want to, they can respond to these questions in the chat and I can respond to them that way. And it's been going really well and my students have really liked it. So I highly, highly recommend um, having some fun using these. Also, I have to be honest, a great way to relieve some stress during this time because it allows me to just be creative. So once I have my blank slide, I'm going to insert a couple of blank slides so that I can add my backgrounds to them. So I'm going to go to background. I'm going to go to choose image. And then just use the image that is already on my desktop. So for example, once I've uploaded all of my pictures in, I'm going to want to make a title card of some sort. And I just decided to put the card somewhere where it wasn't going to get in the way of the overall aesthetic. So I chose to kind of put it on this cabinet. And so maybe for this one, I want to put in my title card. So I'm going to go to shape. I like a square. I think it's nice and clean. I have my drawing tool. And for example, maybe I want to put it where the mantle is. I would simply just draw my shape. And it automatically fills it in with this gray color. And you can feel free to have fun. I personally like my fill color to just be white. And then you can see, this is a tiny detail, but this is something that really kind of bothers me when I'm looking at an image and it has this line around it. I always like to get rid of that uh, line and it's just you go up to here to the border color and you can click transparent and that line goes away. And that gives it a little bit of a cleaner, 
cleaner image. So if I've whited out this, um, next I want to add some sort of a title um, or I want to have some directions that the students can follow once they log in. So I'm going to go to insert text box. I'm going to pretty much fill the entire box with this. Resize. And then maybe I'll choose a cute font like this one, Grand Hotel. And I'm going to say virtual office hours. Then you have an opportunity to write some questions. I always like to have some sort of a check-in question, especially during this time, it's really important for me to connect with my students and how they're doing with their mental health. So maybe I might ask, how are you feeling today? In my classes, we really like to do a, a weather check-in. So I might ask, what is your weather today? And then maybe something that is more aligned with um, questions students might have. So what questions do you have for me? And I like to keep it really simple. So that might be just the things that I would want my students to think about. And then finally, I always like to add my Bitmoji. And you can add Bitmojis by getting the Bitmoji extension in Google. And you have to download the app to either your phone um, either Android or iPhone, and then you can go through the process of creating a Bitmoji that looks like you, which is the best part. And then you can always access the Bitmojis here once you've logged in right up here. And so I just simply copy and paste. It kind of enters it as a PNG, so it has um, a clear background. And then you can place your Bitmoji kind of wherever you want. So there she is. And that's kind of it, you guys. You can see that I am giving some sort of credit to um, apartment therapy because they did spend a lot of time creating that. So I always, just to be safe and just to make sure that we are supporting everybody and acknowledging the work that they've done, I always like to put a little title card here at the bottom that says where I got my images. And that's also helpful for students or colleagues, whoever else you might be sharing this with, um, that they can also see where they can find their own. And that's kind of it. You can see they have lots of really great templates at Apartment Therapy, and I'm sure if you do some hunting, um, you could find numerous different options or even create your own. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. And I would love to see your own virtual office templates. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by.